And tonight, 10 News is digging into the tragic history of the skydive facility where a Navy SEAL from Coronado was killed today during parachute training. You can see his fellow SEALs draped his body with the American flag. 10 News reporter Dan Haggerty is joining us now live from the Embarcadero. And Dan, you discovered a lot of deadly accidents at this facility in Paris. Yeah, we looked up a bunch, Kim. And as you know, Coronado is a place behind me uh, where a lot of Navy SEALs call home. We're learning tonight a little bit more about this man. He was part of Naval Special uh, Warfare Group 1 stationed here on the island. Uh, we're also being told a little bit more about what happened. They're saying his parachute malfunctioned. A terrible sight we've unfortunately had to show you here on 10 News since our midday show. A Navy SEAL stationed in Coronado covered by the Stars and Stripes, killed from a fall during parachute training. <laughs> It happened at this facility in Paris, well known for skydiving and accidents. All these guys come up all over the world. This is the mecca of skydiving right here. The people it draws from all over the world are professionals, enthusiasts, and military. Members from the Canadian Armed Forces, Skyhawks, practiced through the day just hours after the SEAL was killed from a malfunction with his chute. This is the first death in Paris this year. A 36-year-old man died in November of last year, and two others were killed in 2013, including Camp Pendleton Marine Caleb Medley. Another local man and Marine, Sean Carey, seen instructing in this YouTube video, died in 2012. 10 News did some digging. We found out since the year 2000, more than 20 people have lost their lives skydiving at the Paris facility. It's risky, you know. I mean, that's, you jump out of a plane and you gotta, you gotta do all the right things at the right time and hopefully, you know, get clear and, you know, land safely. And we're still waiting to find out, of course, the Navy SEAL's name, what exactly happened with the shoot, what the malfunction uh, was. He is the second Navy SEAL to be killed in a parachuting accident so far in 2015, the other dying in Florida. Reporting live tonight, Dan Haggerty, 10 News. But you mentioned a couple of military deaths at Paris as well. Any indication the military may change their policy? Well, as you know, Kim, uh, the military pretty vague when they describe these situations, especially when it's this early on. But from uh, what we're learning so far, it doesn't seem they uh, want to change any policy here and they continue to use that Paris facility. All right, we'll continue to watch it. Thank you, Dan.